What's up everybody? So today, due to popular request, I've decided to release part of my Mastering No Gi Takedown course. And what we're gonna be going over today is how you can improve doing basic foot sweeps. We all know how important it is to be able to hit a nice, well-timed foot sweep. So let's take a look at how I do it. Let's take a look at how we can do some basic foot sweeps to really off balance our opponent and score some easy takedowns. Okay, foot sweeps are just a great thing to add to your arsenal. Whether you score with them or not, it's a great way to kind of disrupt the pattern and disrupt the flow so you can go from defense to offense. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna practice getting our footwork together, which we're doing here. We're removing the same legs. There we go. And we're learning how to walk together, okay? This is an important part. Even high level judo players practice this before they get into it, just to make sure both partners are in rhythm and they can feel everything that's going on rather than trying to look at the feet and then walk with their hips all stuck. You wanna be able to walk and he should be able to feel when I stop and when I go, okay? That way everything is working together and now we can practice our foot sweeps. Okay, so that's step one to getting this to work. We're gonna practice this in one step first just to get the basis down. So my partner is gonna start with their left leg forward and I'm gonna start with my right leg back. Okay, and all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna practice sweeping at the angle to get his foot together. Now notice how gently it was. I'm not trying to hack at him. As I go through, my partner brings his legs together and I practice finding that angle where I'm transferring my weight and I'm making sure that when I touch his ankle, I'm in a straight line from my shoulder all the way down through my ankle. Okay. What I don't want to have happen is this, where I'm jointed, right? I don't want to see a bend. I don't want to see a bend in my knee. I don't want to lean in a funny direction. It's no different than if his foot was a ball and I was going to kick it 100 yards down the field, okay? But the only difference is I'm turning my foot up. Keep your foot there. I'm turning my foot up and I'm traveling up his foot through his ankle, okay? Making sure that it cups nicely across his foot. If you hit his ankle bone with the instep of your foot, it's really gonna hurt. So you wanna make sure you cup his foot so that when it slides back, you can push it. It's more of a push than it is an actual kick, okay? Step in, together. Step in, together. Now we can practice this walking. So we're gonna start right foot forward because my right foot is my sweeping foot. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one step with the left, and that's gonna load. It's gonna load, I'm gonna put weight on it. Then up and through, okay? Over-exaggerating it, boom, to explode through with the hips. Up, and then you can learn to just feel it out. The important part is, is everything is working together, and you shouldn't have to pay attention to it. Even if I don't sweep, his legs should still come together the whole time because we're following a pattern. We're building pattern recognition with our body so that we can learn to move our feet correctly. Once you get good at this motion, you can practice stepping quicker with your left and leaning back further. What I mean by that is this. There, and I catch it. And I catch it. And you can see he's starting to stumble off balance because of my lean, okay? The lean is part of the pull to help you get the sweep. And the quicker you can actually make that transfer to get to his foot, the stronger your foot sweep is gonna be. You don't wanna step and then hit his foot. That's the number one goal. Don't step and then hit his foot. Try to catch his foot before it gets to his leg, okay? And then, once you get good at that, you can practice just walking and then catching his foot. And he's not gonna know when you're actually sweeping. We're just gonna walk and then you catch it and you bring his feet together. Okay, so that's gonna be the basics of practicing and moving starting from the very basic beginning, standing still to walking forwards. 